Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be playing Limbo. Uh, you might not have heard of it. It's very underground level. Uh, it was made by Minecap. I've got the creator here with me. Say hello. Hey, what up? Hey, everybody. But yeah, here it is. It has been rated. Did you know that? Yeah, I'm I'm totally surprised actually that it got rated. I just found out here while calling yeah. you. Oh wow, I, I have 3,000 likes on my cane comment. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably deleting that. No! This video. How, why? Promoting drugs is not a what? good thing. It's how b yeah, verified the level. We don't talk about that, this is supposed to be secret. Oh yeah. Just before the video begins, I need money. PUBG Mobile is one of the most popular free-to-play battle royale games on the planet, with over 50 million daily players worldwide and over 1 billion total downloads. It has solo duo and squads game modes. They also do a lot of high-profile collaborations and have recently been collaborating with brands such as Koenigsegg, Spider-Man and The Boys. And for this month, to celebrate the FIFA World Cup, they're collaborating with Lionel Messi. Now, if you don't know who he is, you've obviously been living under a rock because he is one of the greatest and most famous football players that has ever lived. He'll be featured in a special limited time event where you can earn all sorts of Messi-themed in-game items such as skins, weapons and even his golden shoes, which can give you special sprint and boost effects. And it's all unlockable for free. All you need to do is complete the weekly activities linked to his content. They've also got the Global Chicken Cup, an in-game football themed festival coming soon as well, where you'll be able to engage in all sorts of football themed content. Now if that sounds interesting to you, click the link at the top of the description to download PUBG Mobile for free. This is uh, this is your uh, 20th millionth time recording this level for me? That yeah. Is, uh... Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> that is considered uh, quite it's, an impressive uh, count. Be quite everything is going to be new to me when I'm playing this, which is why I've got you here. Limbo. I haven't recorded a macro called Limbo yet. That... Wait, so every single macro that you recorded for the level was not named Limbo? No. It was probably like Limbo. No? There's just nothing called Limbo. Okay. Nothing called Limbo, just straight up Limbo. Yeah. Well, that means that's the real macro. Because I'm commenting This is the real it. one. Yeah, this is the, like, real you macro. That, that's, that's so amazing. It is, it's in, inspiring. Uh, show hit, I'm gonna show hitboxes, so... They're gonna hack. Um... Sure. So okay. yeah, Limbo. I'm fairly like amazed by the overwhelmingly positive feedback and reception that this level has gotten. Even though it's been like two years since it's been started, a lot of people still love it because it didn't quite it didn't not age well, like it aged well. And yeah. I'm 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 just I'm just happy with the final product. Like merging this level was considered an impossibility at first. Like the part that you're playing right now, it's probably one of the first parts that got finished. It never used to be that way before. There have been there have been a lot of effects that, that have been added like this ground spikes for example that are on like layer key yeah. three those didn't used to be floating alone like in the background until like fairly recent into like the later previews it's fairly straightforward and what people don't know is that i will be crediting and uh, like notifying people of who exactly made the parts so this part is famously known by being made by yuho and uh, he's he's one of the creators of awakening horus and he has a part in zodiac and like multiple other mega collabs and this layout part was actually made by Findexi, and uh, Findexi is like a very old creator. He hosted a, a collab, like an early 2.1. It was called Carnage Mode, and yeah, like Findexi was one of was an OG creator, famous for his memory gameplay. That was one of the reasons that warranted an invite to this collab, and I think he did a pretty good job at like making a start for this level. So now yeah, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a lot of new information yourself about this. There have already been some buffs to the first part compared to like what I'm used to. Yeah, so this part. <laughs> This part used to be easy. The balls in the part pause. The ball, the ball, the balls in the part used to be a lot smaller, and they got way, way bigger in the in the like buffing process. They used to be comically large, but then they looked ugly. I told Grant to revert them back. This part was oh. uh, created twice, I think. At first, it was given to HJ Fod, and then he couldn't make structures well enough because it didn't suit his style. He's a really talented creator. So the part went into uh, Failure 444, also known as, uh, known as Eggnog now, and I think they did a pretty good job. Also, big, big info, big info, a uh, big uh, reveal here for uh, this part. This part is actually also made by Kulak. 
Pollock made an effect in this oh. and optimized some stuff in it. Which, which effect? The effect that you see in the background right now in this wave part that FNM keeps dying to a lot, this uh, wavy effect is actually used... I'm dying so you get more time to talk, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this effect is used in Aerial Gleam by Kulok. Even though he used the effect and the level got released before Limbo, so it technically happened first. But this exact effect is in Aerial Gleam, uh, huh. and it was made by Kulok. I think it blends really well. Like you can't yeah. even tell that they were like that. It was the same effect used until like you notice it. Little swirly, wavy uh, yeah. effect that's like horizontal to the point. I think it's pretty cool. This focus transition used to only say Limbo. I realized it was kind of like an old trope to say the level name out loud. And maybe it was like a good direction to say Limbo, just how old levels used to do it before a drop happens. But then I realized saying Limbo is kind of like, it's kind of old now. So we decided to go something more uh, diverse with the levels uh, now catchphrase and say make it say like focus. Focus is like the main thing theme of this level you have to focus surprisingly yeah. and Damn. and yeah this transition to uh, the next point is uh, is famously known for being buggy quote unquote by some yeah. people because they just don't know that they have to hold but, but then but, I uh, hold that once they yeah, yeah. you need yeah, ah, you, need, you need to. I've done it. Good job. You are failing the pot. <laughs> well, but as FNM takes half an hour to pass this first I am percent, taking I will talk about the next part. So little time. See? I've done it. Easy. Okay, and... so this part is pretty straightforward. This was. This this was made by Lieb, and the layout was by the one, TH31. Uh, they're both very talented creators, as always, as for everyone who is in this level. And um, one important thing I want to mention is that this part used to be impossible. TH01's gameplay, the one's gameplay was impossible. The first three toggle orbs in it used to be impossible because you had to click all of them. Now you can just fall. And the toggle orbs, the toggle orbs that I'm talking about are in the ball when FNM reaches them, of course. But well, how, which, where do you click? Is it here? You click in the middle. You click in the middle and then yeah, you Yeah, then you... No, you just click that one. You're so dumb. What? Anyway, I'm so... I'm smart. <laughs> clearly. So, this part was also infamously complained about by Lieb, because he hated working on this. He hated decorating this what? with every fiber of his body. Uh, but luckily, it got, like, it, got a, it got progress fairly quickly, and it was actually one of the first parts that got finished on the level, surprisingly, even though he had a tough time with it. So, this is Penato. Penato is like one of my best friends, and I pitched him the level idea, and he liked it. And to my surprise, he uh, decided to come back to decorating again, like Limbo was was this one part that like motivated him and he personally told me that limbo is his best gameplay that you are not able to pass right now fnm I'm so just trying to make it look cute. hang on can i yeah. go up here most people yeah i can i no, think you, i might be able to go up here you stop <laughs> <laughs> yes Don't. i can no <laughs> there used to be a secret way here and there's with this one person oh, no, yeah, who, like made a super no, it didn't. stupid video about the secret way saying that they, they were like talking about they were like talking about how this uh, little secret way that skips uh, to like uh, th04's part like very late on the level oh, just yeah. makes it impossible now Damn. yeah this i boom saws now i found that by myself why didn't you notice it when you had the level two years ago huh it was not <laughs> that was not two years it was like a year ago same effect i guess but yeah the person who made like this uh, the secret wave video they were so giddy and so happy talking about the secret wave as if the le whole level got ruined I'm, I'm just gonna update it this part is pretty straightforward i don't know why many people don't like it maybe because of the old style gameplay and in my opinion i think diversifying the styles in this level stops making it boring because the song choice here even though this is one of my favorite songs like ever it is pretty repetitive for some reason so i cannot have a repetitive song for some people with a repetitive cohesive style if the styles are varied and even if the song is a bit repetitive we turn it into a fun mega collab yeah uh, to play and to look at, and um, yeah, Vismuth is born. This part used to be super easy. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it was all like mini before. It was a it was a mini, and the spikes were small. You could you could just pass it every attempt. It was one of the worst parts, like gameplay wise, not because of it, uh, not because of its ideas or like execution. It was just too easy. And I told Vismuth to buff his part multiple times, and he ended up doing so until we reached this this spot right there. Then Graham decided to make the 
the the hitbox is fixed. Uh, because why not? He's yeah, gonna, because why not? Even though he him. ended up nerfing that one spike at the beginning of the ship, the second uh, spike, uh, instead of having it like a diagonal straight fly up, because it was much more consistent, this myth is still considered one of the most difficult parts to play from zero in Limbo. And yeah, as for the people harder. playing Limbo right now, currently I'm in a server where everybody is uh, racing to get progress on Limbo. Uh, currently Marcouche has more than 50, 52%. Kelvin, Kelvin. Kelvin has reached the 70s. 12 yeah, Kelvin is he, a beast. He didn't pre-practice. He was one no, of the yeah. people who did not pre-practice the level and he got 73. He currently yeah. says that it's slightly easier than Firework, but it's harder than Arcturus. So expect it to be placed at like 7 or 6, like max Maximum. Yeah, I think um, uh, he was the first victor of Rust as well. Rust. Rust. Yeah. How the fuck do you do yeah. this? I'm... He says that, yeah, I don't even know. And he did it in such a low amount of attempts too, at less than 20k. Yeah, he's, he is built different. Uh, and he did it on a controller, I remember. He did firework and, uh, yeah, and uh, firework Rust on, on a controller. controller. So I, uh, do, I do go he's, down here. But then we'll... He's insane. You, oh, uh, you go down. I, I think I've, do I just do that? Oh, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave you just to torture yourself there. No, wrong again. Just... Anyway, let me continue then. What, let me talk what do you mean wrong business. again? You just told me this is the right way. I told you to go down and you kept going up. You're currently going up again. Oh, I'm, go well, I'm going like, down you need to relative remove to that my checkpoint. Cube. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hit. Hit this toggle. Oh! I figured that out by myself. Genius. So yeah, this part is uh, is one of the is considered one of the most difficult from zero to play because of the ship control. It's insane. Yeah, this part can be done in multiple different ways. When Nepesta tried uh, tried it on stream for the first time, he invented a new route that I've never seen yeah. before. Even though it's a slightly a bit harder, I like how Limbo can be played in different ways that generally don't affect its difficulty. Like it re it leaves so much more room for each player to have their own like run and. Uh, ultimately their own key at the end what have i found here yeah don't even bother you're upside down yeah i'm the wrong way up shit i'm not finding any new ways i found enough ways through this level i think hey. there we go uh, here we go finally so this is uh, this uh, port is uh, famously known as jenkins's port but it's actually decorated by saria saria she's a really talented creator but unfortunately she escaped the creator scene these days like she made her limbo port and then talked about something like i think she returned back to discord like very recently then disappeared again she's a really talented creator because of the whole uh, smooth style and like clean cleanliness to her execution yeah. of the part. I look in the cleanliness of the execution of this bot. Yeah, just stop. <laughs> I can't <laughs> talk. <laughs> <laughs> I so love. so yeah i wanted to like say three different sentences then then it turned into one sentence so yeah oh. this part was this part was complained to me a lot by being impossible please disable rotation hack if you have it on because if you have rotation hack on this part will not work because somehow the hitbox has become twice as large and you just huh. find the part impossible i don't have rotation hack on there so yeah this part is really clean that's yeah. why i like there it and, uh, and yeah, I like the little discs. When I first saw the layout for this uh, snake block segment, I really liked it. It's just, it's just super good. It's like one of the best executed parts in Limbo, in my opinion. Yeah, no, it's really. This also got, uh, this also got enhanced by multiple people, including Grenade of Tacos. Like he, he gave it a shot. If you notice the 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 ground blocks at the at the bottom and the the top. They pulse to the piano song. Huh, I never noticed that. They pulse to the piano in the song. So, <coughs> so yeah. Uh, next up is Jazor. When Hang FNM on. can reach Coughing it. Coughing to death. Um, one second. Oh, this, is, this was the next laggy. Next up what? is Jazor. Oh, yeah, I have to hold. Yeah, this part is amazing it is kind of controversial though because it's a completely different style from the rest and i believe that's a good like idea to have like a, a bit of like new content for the viewer and the player to to like play and experience because it's entertaining to have a variety of different styles than just one style that is considered cohesive all the way through that's boring to me this part is like uh let's say michigan's artificial ascent sport or uh, yadagarasu's sport like it it stands out on its own way and with its 
own gameplay and it's it's really amazing how this part is now infamous for being also one of the hardest parts from zero because of its gameplay people really like jazor it used to be a lot easier of course everything here used to be easier then it got balanced yeah. and buff jazor's part is infamous for that one click in the ship i don't know why people are afraid of it i like i personally can do it a bit consistently but i can understand why from zero it can be hard this ship is uh is, is kind of funny too because you can hold down technically in some in, in like like till the end of it in the second half of the, of the ship you can hold down but then you will have to click an orb unless you get teleported into like a joke arena wait fnm fnm is gonna try it out for you guys to see what but I'm, okay. I'm going the right way. You're gonna, you're, you're, you're not, you're gonna fail intentionally to show people. I don't know where I'm meant to fail. Yeah. Okay, so okay, just... okay. Okay, hit this orb and then, and and then keep, keep on holding. Never mind, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I guess, I, I guess you guys aren't be, be going to be able to see it. But what? I think, I think you can like edit it in. Edit what in? I don't even I'm know. Gonna, what... There is a, f there is, a, there is a little fucking, there, there is a little um, Easter egg in Jazor where if you don't click the orbs in the second half and you just hold down, you just get teleported to another part. Oh, I found it. Yeah! Oh my god! There it is! No! <laughs> oh. Did you notice that? Well, I noticed it when I got to it, but I didn't know that that existed originally, no. I, I did the part the right way. But yeah, way that's to prevent time. people from just cheesing the port all the way through by just holding. But yeah, this is Goose. Goose's port is really amazing. It's also the heaviest object-wise, even though it doesn't lag. That's because it doesn't really have that much moves. It is around 55k objects big. It is the Ow. biggest port. Even, even bigger than KWMS <laughs> in size. <coughs> That's crazy. There's no much to say about this part. Ryder made the gameplay, and uh, it's it's like a callback to classic memory. It's like a classic memory mixed with yeah, modern it was decoration. Yeah, always the balls in the classic memory. Yeah, like it, this is this is all like memory ball that's just fully invisible, and you have to learn it. And They're then like, they yeah. did a switch. They did a switch where they turned it into a spider, and then they repeated the same gameplay idea till the end of the part. It reminds me of uh, that one part in Supersonic. Yeah, it is. I mean, one part in basically any Sonic level. Oh, it's too easy. It's too easy for me. Okay, so this part... Whoa! This part is one of the most creative things that I've ever seen in, ex in an extreme. Of course, it's made by Kermal, and he did an amazing job with it. And it is very well playtested. Like, if you try and get another route, you can maybe cheese like a move or something but it is always well play tested and you have to click a specific amount of like times so the way this gimmick works is that you need to click mid-air to pause the blocks the snake blocks from moving and there's like a play a pause and a forward button to control the movement and you have to click yeah. it mid-air to toggle the way they move and i just i just believe it's a very cool part yeah it it's is decorated cool. by flash and it's one of the lesser object heavy parts in in in, in the level so i obviously needed to press a button there oh i'm i'm chilling i'm chilling I, I like how i like how even though this is like your 10th time botting this you still forget the gameplay <laughs> yeah hey what the oh I just... yeah see i haven't forgotten anything my awesome. memory is intact here yeah yeah sure no? Did you manage to do it? I'm managing to do it. Bossing this part. Nope, I don't think you are. I think you might have to restart from a previous checkpoint because you fucked something up. No, I I, I would never. No, it was just I got too excited. Yeah, you're totally not at the beginning of the part right now. I'm not at the beginning. This part, something that I forgot to mention about this part, you used to fall up in the sky, like if you miss something and you fall upwards, you would fall all the way through we had to patch the those with like saws oh. so people wouldn't get annoyed practicing it i part of me just wanted to just keep it like that way people get pissed off but i value the play tester quality experience yeah oh here we go i promise it's fine i promise i'm not oh yeah ha nope oh fuck you need to be <laughs> You, what? you need to be no <laughs> you need to be what? not uh, a normal gravity you almost got it though no yeah i can't be there because you're not allowed to be there oh hello hello 
No. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. Go ahead, blame it on the port. It's the port's fault. True. You almost had it. Oh, hello. Hello, pot. Hello, pot. Hello, pot. Come on. Finally, you got it. Oh, come on. Ugh. Ugh. Yes. Or not. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. So, yeah, Zephyrox. What do you think about Zephyrox? I wanted to talk about this, but uh, FNM took a million years to get there. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, this part used to be a lot harder. Uh, Matty, who is the levels optimizer, Matty2003, he created a lot of levels, including Storming Summit, if you've heard of it. Yeah. Um, so, I'm talking to the audience, not you. I know you showcased it. How about it? So, basically... <laughs> <laughs> so basically, basically Zephyrox used to have multiple other routes, but then we decided to revert them back and make Zephyrox one of the easiest sports that FNM just passed and uh, and nerf it because it used to be so buggy. Speaking of buggy, this is Slay. <laughs> Slay's yeah. part is also made by uh, Stormfly in terms of gameplay. Stormfly made the part before that gameplay wise and this part. The Slay Dash Orb is infamous for being so difficult to pass through. It's the middle one. No, it isn't. I can. Oh, Gee. this. <laughs> yeah, this. This is a. This is a real timing. People say it gets consistent. Wrong way. But yeah, um, I personally like this part a lot, especially in full detail. Oh, easy, easy, easy for botting, I guess. That's just easy. You made an easy level. True. So, so yeah, this part is. Um... <coughs> This part also got nerfed by Graham because of how unfair the last few clicks were. But it's okay. It's alright. We are halfway through. We are halfway. Yeah, KWMS. The laggiest part of the level. Before the finale, of it's course. the perfectest part of the level. It yeah, so cool. this part is amazing. It's just perfect in every way. Unfortunately, it is laggy and currently... I mean, you can see the lag. <laughs> yeah, you, you can just feel it lag because of the amount of stuff that's happening on the screen at the same time. So yeah. I wanted to like mention something about the lag in this level. The lag in this level is mostly group oriented, not object oriented. And basically because we had recycled a lot of groups and manipulated a lot of groups into thinking it's like two groups that then we used to one. We managed to get this up to 1700 groups. So this was like a very hard technological advance in terms of like mega cola posting <laughs> because this was really difficult to merge all thanks to Joxy and Maddie for helping me out with this. And there will be multiple optimization updates rolling out fairly soon, hopefully this month, that will make this level runnable on devices that don't have a supercomputer like FNM like like here. I say that I did the GD bench Benchmark and it's it's not looking good for me. <laughs> the GD benchmark probably lied to you or something because you have a giga chat of a computer. It's probably because I have task so I'm trying to mess with the FPS. Uh, also, surprisingly, the things that lag in KWMS that me and Maddie have tested aren't actually the background and the foreground. It's one of the block layers for absolutely no reason. This level is so weird. Currently, I'm talking to KWMS, like the man himself who made this part, and he is willing to optimize. I'm gonna show you... Uh, this part is amazing. Put the screenshot on uh, when, uh, when yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah, screenshot. Okay, so <laughs> so yeah, this is, uh, so yeah, KWMS is currently optimizing it himself and uh, we are planning on updating this. And how are we going to fix group oriented lag? We are just going to try our best to free a lot of groups to make this thing as runnable and enjoyable as possible for everyone. Mainly the finale, but we're gonna get to that soon. So this part, this layout part was made by Para and uh, decorated by TH04. It used to be decorated by Toxic, and Toxic, they're a very talented creator, but unfortunately, their style was way too outdated and simplistic for the nature of the part before it and after it. If it was one, if, if it was in the earlier parts, it would have been perfect. But Toxic had a very important role with the level. They they made like an OC of it, like an anime, an anime girl. Oh. But yeah, I don't like talking about it, but it was pretty cool. And Toxic was one of the people who helped me draw 
saw the uh, Limbo hype updates, like part by part, that light up before the full showcase. So props to Toxic for that. After Toxic unfortunately left, it got replaced by THO4, and um, they did a pretty good job. Some people complain about it being laggy, and I don't know why. There's not a lot of movements that happens throughout this part, except like the loop that's happening, but it's not that much, not as much as the other parts. And they warranted a ULDM. Like I remember, I remember seeing on Twitter a ULDM of this part, and it's just the layout. <laughs> like people are not what? going, people are not, people are not willing to give this level a chance at all in terms of just running it. There will be a ULDM and LDM update coming fairly soon, though. Like expected in the next week or two, and uh, maybe even less, but no promises. But but yeah, this part is one of the more difficult parts. People uh, are now saying that the second half of Limbo is significantly easier than the first. Uh, some say that's a good thing, some say that's uh, inconsistent. I don't know, I'm not a player. But right now, with the 10 people who have progress on it, they all say that it's significantly one of the best levels that I've that they've played in terms of like top Deven gameplay. And that's something that makes me really proud. Yeah, that's... That's cool. Okay, I'm nearly there. Dun, 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 dun. I, I remember some of this. What the f- I am- You oh. flick down, not up. It's hard when there's a massive lag when I have to respawn. Oh, I get it. Awesome. So this wave, this one wave used to be so easy. Then uh, Graham decided to buff it. Like he buffed the shit out of it for no reason, but it's okay because lots of people like it. So yeah, temp. This is 64 click and temp is brutal. Many people are afraid of 64 and 66 clicks in temp mm. because they just they just require insane amounts of alignment. And um, this part can also be done in two ways, and each way is kind of the same difficulty, even harder than the other one. You're currently doing the part wrong, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it wrong, you this is like the an, easiest you, way. You, you did like an impossible click. <laughs> I Nothing is impossible about this click. Yeah, See, it's easier. the red orb that you just clicked. I'm... this is a normal way. I don't know what you're talking about. Indeed it's it is. Way. That's why people definitely watch your showcase to help them play the level. Yeah, I'm just saying, you can watch X and shit. He made a whole video on how to beat Limbo. The right way path Limbo. <laughs> the right way. Go, wa go watch... George that was that was actually a pretty smart video because nobody had actually done that yeah. yet. Yeah. But uh okay. we love Exxon here. I have nothing to do with showcaser beef. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this uh, part is pretty straightforward. It's made by Gyron and uh, decorated by Temp, and it's one of the classical memory parts. It has a very huge canvas. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. This is Serve, decorated by Enyab and uh, Layout by Surf, of course. The, the part is famously known for Surf. This part used to be easy again, but then Graham decided to buff it for absolutely no reason. Probably for balancing purposes, but okay. He ended up nerfing it though. He pussied out of it. Oh, but, uh, that's a pussy. But, but yeah, the UFO click at the end of Surf is terrifying, he says. And multiple others say, by the way. Uh, and yeah, did a pretty good job. So, fun fact. Eniab had to decorate this twice because oh. the first iteration of her decoration was basically like a white manix like style, which really didn't fit the level at all. Like it was, yeah. it was like it was incredibly white. It was like white chocolate type of white. That's white. Nice commentary. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I'd be. But yeah, this is this is Wheel. This, this is, is Wheel, and uh, oh. you're currently having a lot of hard time guessing where to uh, go. Yeah, it's so hard to guess where I have to go. I'm kind of fluking it right now. It's it's very interesting. Taxing. This is decorated by Park, and the land was by Wheel, and it's one of the. One of my favorite points, actually, because of how smooth it is, and this ball part. This ball part is is like insanely difficult, while at the same looks pretty. Those uh, lines in the background, those decoration lines, didn't used to move. Then I told Pock to try and make them move, and it ended up looking way prettier than expected. Like I was personally surprised too. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about this part. Oh, oh never mind. I do have something to say. Oh. Those clicks are impossible <laughs> from zero. They make everybody nervous and those ball clicks those ball clicks are incredibly easy if you have no nerves at all But from zero 
it's brutal and you have to like time it in a certain way to make the balls behave like, like that yeah these balls they're tough thanks no problem okay there we go we've we've succeeded we um, have reached the finale evasim is one of the com community OGs and they have been they have been in there for like eight years now and when I first asked Evasium if they wanted to collab on Limbo after I've like pitched the idea they liked it and they made gameplay having touched the editor in four years they did not touch a single block in four years and then they returned to Limbo to make this gameplay it's like kind of amazing how how old creators have joined this project to like make it happen and uh, this was uh, decorated by Poke Chad Poke Chad is a really talented creator and uh, this ending part is amazing so contrary to popular belief now since we're nearing the finale the decoration was made by me the gameplay was made by cron 44 he is the creator of the keys yeah. i noticed a comment i noticed up the comment on his channel where he showcases the keys telling him that he stole it from me <laughs> <laughs> then i just felt so embarrassed about uh. it because that's just that he made the algorithm he is the engineering genius behind the way the keys work and the way they behave from the beginning of the level and yeah, so i need to go back and i'm just really proud of the way it turned out thanks to crone and his uh, wonderful algorithm that would take a billion years to explain in this video of like the keys shuffling it is considered one of the most memorable parts of any mega collab right now like if you check on twitter right now you're gonna see a lot of tweets <laughs> memeing the key point you are trying so hard on those clicks i'm not i'm not trying at all limbo with the least clicks possible limbo but the clicks are as late as possible look at me look at me go yeah, showcase ah! channel struggle so much oh Oops. what the fuck <laughs> why did it work that time because it's limbo it doesn't work from hang on hang on i have a master plan um, no, because it doesn't hit the orb. One, two, one, nine, eight. Then I open the file. Pro limbo copy seven. Okay, so I do have macros called limbo. Where is L in the alphabet? L, M, N, no. 100k subscribers and can't say the alphabet. Cool. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I don't even know why I'm going to prove it to you. I don't need to prove anything. Why are you, why are you proving letters? Huh? I don't need to prove letters to you. No, I, I kind of don't believe that you know the alphabet from heart. You definitely need a sheet. Okay, look, I'm, I'm fixing the macro. One, two, one. Okay, so I'll just do it on eight, eight, two. Oh, yeah. The finale had multiple bugs in it, and I'm just really happy that we managed to make this work out as barely as possible. I know it's laggy, and you can only work it realistically on the ULDM if you have, like, a bad PC. Yeah, it's gonna have 10 objects when it's finished. Bam, 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 bam. That's gonna hopefully change soon, with a lot of optimization updates that, that are just gonna roll out, like, one by one slowly, till the whole level's, like, fine, and obviously it's gonna run perfectly fine in 2.2, but this is, like, witchcraft craft <laughs> 2.2 yeah. is not gonna happen anytime soon no. as i live hopefully it'll it'll get more optimized as time goes on mm -hmm. but uh, yeah the finale was like really hard to uh bug fix and uh, prawn and joxy and multiple other people have helped bug fix it and uh, at the end of the day we are left with this final product so a lot of people are asking why the end screen is not there and uh, the end screen used to be so beautiful it was made by dnid he had a part in nelv like he was one of the two creators yeah. of nelv and the 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 animation was so beautiful but it used a lot of groups it wasn't oh. color trigger based so because of the group problem in limbo that i've mentioned earlier we had to discontinue it maybe i'll add it in 2.2 but the ending of limbo of having it a suspenseful eight seconds of waiting before you can decide before before the level decides your fate if you passed it, if you passed it or not is generally one of the most butt clenching and impressive oh endings yeah that no it my butt clenches been. every time yeah wait really huh it's like a problem <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so basically so yeah this last part um, um it the I'm lag really is kind of intermittent the... so my click pan's gonna look really shit unless i go to like 0.2 speed i see 
Yeah, uh, go, go, go on. I'm gonna say this again. Yeah, the end screen in Limbo is um, is basically a very good ending to it because of the amount of like butt clenching activity that will yeah. happen once you just reach there and you're just worried that if you got the right key or not. Yeah. So even if even if you're fairly certain that you chose correctly, you there is still the possibility, the small possibility of like this agonizing fear that you might have gotten it wrong and the anti-cheat that you're currently dying to a lot this was added because to prevent people from pausing at the end of the level they force you on a d block to a ceiling and 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 yeah basically forcing you on a d block to the ceiling and just forcing you to just wait there till the end of the level you can technically okay so you can technically pause before it but then you will have to do at least seven more pattern switches so what's the point of cheating if you're gonna do it legitimately for the rest of the attempt. Hey, you even got the same key as B Graham. Yeah, well, I don't know if this is the right key. I'm going through them and checking. I didn't look at shit. Yeah, the butt clenching is happening right now. Butt is clenching. It's, uh, was I right? I'm a genius. It you're gonna die. Right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I get the key first time. Come on, first time. Uh, set oh, fuck, it sped up. No? So it's not blue. I gotta try and get the second I, one. The second one isn't letting me touch it. Okay. First time. No. Nope. E4. That might be it because I mean, purple is lucky. Yeah, purple, purple, purple is, is, is lucky. Purple, Just watch this. Purple. Watch this. You're gonna do it. You're purple. gonna do it this attempt. Watch this. No. Look away. It wasn't first time. That looks ugly. Yeah, I like how little pictures of all the parts flash behind you. So do, 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 yeah, do. that was a. Yeah, that is a, that is like to view on your journey. It's like your whole life flashing before your eyes, you know. It's like ba -ba -ba. King Hell. You are planning on getting every single wrong key, aren't you? I don't know what the right key is, so maybe if you followed it like a normal person. Maybe. Look, first time. Well, you're gonna die. No, probably gonna be red, cause that's what usually happens when you bought it. You just made that up. Now, what should be red? Really now? It's been red quite a few times. Wait, so cursed got red on his 64 to 100 run. So you're saying that he's a botter? Look, I got the. I don't know. You're it's just cursed it, is a it's hacker. It's been a lot of red. I've seen a lot of red. No, because it doesn't actually register the quicks. There's a bot. Oh, never mind. No, fuck what I said. First time, Hell yes! Yeah. The ugliest yes. color. Seven what? out of eight. I'm Carbine. All of them just look like blue, and then there is like a red one, and then there is a bunch of green ones. Um, Interesting. There's like no, there's three. Maybe green I'll ones. add a there's colorblind like update to the level. <laughs> no, you should make one stripey. Make them stripey. stripey. Yeah. I see. You should number them. Numbering them would make it a lot easier to track. Well, I'm gonna yeah, see what I'm gonna do. Any. I don't know. Oh, fuck colorblind people. It just makes it harder. Um. Anyway. <laughs> ableist level. So, yeah, ableist. But level. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see uh, what I'm gonna do with the whole colorblind thing like i've yeah i've gotten like maddie has made a little concept thing for it let me show it on oh. screen Hold. you are you are accommodating for us yes for you people quote unquote people for your kind i want to see this oh yeah so i finished button level thank you mycat for j joining us on this amazing journey yes. thanks for all the info regarding you know the parts so at the end of the video i'm gonna put a full showcase of limbo uh something you've never seen before from me brand new except it's gonna be the right version and the obviously yeah. correct gameplay Obviously correct gameplay. And yeah, it's gonna be my best one yet. Gonna record in 8K. Gonna no actually no because that mean I had to put a 20 minute video on 8K and I'm not doing no no fuck you guys, you're getting 4K. Um but yeah Only 4K no Only 4K no. I no I can see only in 8K. Oh well <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I'll put the showcase at the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.